we're being asked to solve this equation for x, so solution. This is actually a quadratic equation in log x. So we'll start by setting it equal to 0. So log x squared minus 6 log x. And we'll subtract 7 from both sides. So minus 7 equals 0. This should factor. Let's try. Should, should factor like this. Log x, log x. And over here we have 0. Why like this? Because if you multiply log x times log x, you get this term here. All right, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 7 but add to negative 6. So it looks like negative 7 and positive 1 should do the job, right? Because if you take the inside, you get negative 7 log x. And if you take the outside, you get log x. If you add log x to negative 7 log x, you get negative 6 log x. And negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. So everything looks OK. We have a product that's equal to 0. So we set each factor equal to 0. So log x minus 7 is equal to 0. Or log x plus 1 is equal to 0. Solve this for log x. So just add 7 to both sides. So we end up with log x equals 7. Now there's a formula. It says that if you have b to the log base b of x, you just get x. So for example, uh, 10 to the log of 4 is 4. There's really a 10 here when we write the log. We just don't write it. So there really is a 10 here, and there is a 10 here. So here we exponentiate both sides, and we just get x equals 10 to the seventh. And we could do the same thing on the right hand side. We'll subtract one. So we get log x equals negative one. You put a 10 here, you put a 10 here, and then this just becomes x. And here you get 10 to the negative one. So x ends up being x equals one over 10, right? You bring the 10 downstairs, and the exponent becomes positive. That's it.